the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So today's video is our first video of All-Star Tower Defense. As a noob, I decided to defeat all first three bosses using Gon. Okay, but before that, please do follow our Instagram account for early updates, bloopers, and giveaways. Okay, so let's start! So for our first boss, Frieza from the Beginner Saga, so from the name itself, beginner, this part of the game is made for us to familiarize ourselves, to enjoy the game, and again, choose maybe the champions that we want to use. There you go. So as you can see, Frieza is almost dead. Don't worry. On the third and final boss of this video, I will show you tips and guides. And Frieza is almost down. You are nothing but a beast, a fragile animal. <laughs> Easy wheezy, lemon squeezy, I don't know. By the way, why I chose God because he has a high damage input and an area of effect. And I only choose stores 1 to 3 because I think Gon cannot attack aerial troops, so I might adjust. Rock, paper, scissors! Spock! <laughs> Guys, who knows this Spock and Sheldon Cooper? If you can comment the real name of Sheldon Cooper here, I will add you as a friend in Roblox. Only one winner, okay? So for our next boss... Mm, I kinda hate this character in Naruto. He defeated the third Hokage. Mm. Now it's my turn. Give it to him, Gon. Use rock, paper, scissors. Well, anyway, this will be fast. Approaching is Orochimaru. Hello. Taste the damage of Gon. Guys, do you know someone who is better than Gon here in the game? I'm just a noob, so if you know someone, just comment it on the comment section. Okay? Help me, guys. <laughs> Okay, so Orochimaru is almost down. So for the final boss, we are going to fight Crocodile, Alligator, whatever. And I will show you some tips, okay? So please do listen. Okay, third and final boss. Your enemy will come out, right? Oh, what you can do is you just roam around, use your emotes, etc. But before laying down your character, Gon, please check your enemy first, okay? Just like that. Okay, I am seeing that the enemy, check the terrain. There are curves where will your Gon maximize his range, etc. So I decided that I will put Gon here, okay? Why? I'll tell you later. Okay, so first, strategize. That's the first tip, okay? Strategize. So, see, I haven't killed an enemy, but the wa first wave is already clear. See, okay. Now, we can do some emotes. There we go. Chilling like a villain. So, okay, the first enemy is defeated. Should I upgrade? I think not yet, because Gon has a high damage output. The only problem here is if the next wave will produce a powerful enemy, which is you cannot attack if you don't rank up your character. I don't know how do you call it, etc. But guys, this is why I put my first character there because because there are what you call this accelerators, the one who runs, and that is the point where they decelerate or or it starts to move slower. There we go and put another gun to secure your defense. Okay, so wave four, wave five. Okay, there's a sign. That's the time that you increase the rank of your characters because again, there are enemies, powerful 
enemies how do you uh, what they call that identify the powerful enemies there is a word powerful on top of their heads this one the red font there you go guys sorry uh, for the quality I will use my laptop next time for recording I use uh, my phone here sorry about that I will improve the quality next time okay so as you can see we are doing quite well all we need to do is upgrade this defense and put another one here okay now you can advance you need to secure the base first for defense and then after you you were able to put a decent defense then you can advance so you can conquer the whole map okay first you need to secure your base your enemy cannot attack your base now that's the time that you go on the offense okay guys yeah it's it's called tower defense but if you were able to place your characters properly then before your enemies even spawn you can defeat them so that's how i define offense here go there you go let's wait for the ultimate boss on the third story which is alligator or crocodile whatever you call them please notice this point that is what i call choke points so now I am going on the offense, I will try to not make anyone go beyond that point, okay? So by using uh, my formations, etc., we're gonna try that. hope that you understand what I'm talking about and I just learned that you can only deploy like eight eight characters at the same time so I need to pick my shots here I'll just add one here here to increase my base defense there you go two four five six one. two more I'll just tell you the other tips next time like not increasing your level to the max because of the range discrepancies etc maybe next time okay we're just gonna focus on defeating this boss as you can see our choke point is doing quite well there we go okay the boss is coming out Guys, uh, another tip here. I, I think uh, you're doing this. So if ever, like that one, the gun here. If ever your enemy get passed by the range of your gun, my gun here, there. Then just sell him. Okay, so you can uh, deploy another one again. Because at that point, there will be no uh, other enemies respawning. And that is the final boss. So that is the most logical thing to do. And I think this alligator guy is almost down. So I hope that you like my first video. Comment on the comment section for suggestions. I'll see you then. To all my viewers, supporters, I appreciate you all. Thank you and bye-bye.